Hello everyone, step four through here to Fitness with 70 Star Yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back, ladies and gents, to some more seven days to die. We just finished up our uh, next blood moon, as you guys saw in the last video. And as the sun is now starting to rise, I will now take you guys on a grand tour of how we've got everything all situated. So, starting with the top floor, Brianna, you probably don't even know yet, but I'm still working on the, um, the uh, boxes here. So if you come take a look, Brianna, in the, uh, in the storage room, if you see a sign, the top word and the bottom word represent each chest. So the top chest would be schematics. The bo bottom one would be clothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, I haven't finished all of these other ones, but like the top one will be water. The bottom one will be food supplies and stuff like that. Oh, I see Brianna. This is Fred. Don't touch Fred. <laughs> Fred the concrete block inside of our house. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Brianna. I appreciate you protecting Fred. So up you. here, um, I went ahead and wired in uh, fluorescent lights uh, throughout the top part of the house here to kind of keep everything all lit up. Uh, this is all wired and powered by this generator that I've got hidden back here uh, behind the workbench and stuff. So... We can turn that off during the daytime and kills the lights if we want to. I hear. We can hear Brianna. And then oh, um, same in here. It all wires into these lights here. On the second floor, I've got uh, lights and stuff all wired as well. And as you can see, the wire actually feeds from the bottom floor uh, to turn all those on. What if I touch Fred? Um, I've also got wired in every single uh, doorway leading to each direction, so the north, south, east, and west. As you guys heard, I have an alarm system. That's all just for cosmetics and intensity type stuff, but basically what it is is I have a switch wired into the wall and up to these little speaker systems up here that sound an alarm for attacking zombies. <laughs> I've wired in some spotlights up here that kind of shine down into the courtyards to light up the courtyards uh, at nighttime. And as you guys can see, I we have completely leveled the top part of our house. It used to be that ugly looking peak. And we have uh, knocked it. I'll come out here to kind of show you guys a little better. If I can get... I'm just going to jump over this. Oh. I need paint. But that's kind of what our house uh, looks like now with the uh, the fortress system that we're trying to build here. We're just letting all the outer spikes just to get destroyed. We're not replacing things. We're not worrying about any of the defenses out here. So over time, these are all just going to get demolished and broken. You guys totally Which honestly shouldn't take too long. Yeah. What, Brianna? I said you guys totally got rid of my... Um... My... Exterior paint. And my granite inside, my marbles. Oh, it's because it's all concrete. So as you guys can see, the whole top, this is all still the same house. It's just we reinforced it with concrete now. So from that level I'm looking at there, up used to be that peak, like that house right there in this house. Me and Tyler completely chopped it in half and just reinforced it with rebar and concrete. So it's more of a fortress house now instead of like an ugly peak like over there. Um... The outer defenses we were mentioning in the last episode are going to be these blade traps here. These ones here are currently wired up that uh, Pixie is looking at, but they're not like like, like working yet. So the way it's going to happen is, is they're all going to be tandem uh, connected, like you can see the wires in between there. And then it's going to run to a generator that I have built in every courtyard. So just behind this courtyard here, if we come into this little gate here, you can see the wire that passes through. And then through this little door. And into our service bay door here. Which, Tyler, they were breaking into. Were they really? Yeah. There's a... Oh, and they broke over here. The, uh... The rebar is broke open. Wow, they actually did some damage in the courtyard. Um... Yeah, we gotta figure something out for that. Yeah, so if you open up... These are like my little service bays that I have built into the courtyards. The service bays house all my relay systems for the traps that lead into the main area. So what happens is, is if a blade goes down, it doesn't stop all the other blades from not working. Because this relay system here powers like one or two blade traps. This one powers a couple blade traps. And this one powers a couple blade traps. 
Yep, Brianna must be uh, painting. <laughs> I see paint dripping through the walls. And then this, <laughs> and this generator here. Um, actually, are you away from the blades out front, babe? Uh, yeah. So this generator here, if I were to turn it on and then flip this switch, this is what's going to power each quadrant of blades on each part of the house here. So once you come outside, that's what's going to do this. So that way, those spider zombies that kept climbing up, they're going to try and climb, and they're going to get ripped up by the wall blades. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, so that's kind of what's going to happen there. The only bad thing about this, until I figure out a way to relay wire, is if they break, let's just say, this front one here, since this one is being relayed this way, it's going to cause all of these to fail. So I'll figure out that later, but at least we'll have some sort of defenses out here for now. And if you guys come over here, same thing. As you can see, we haven't finished concreting a lot of stuff yet. Uh, but if you come over here to this service bay, same thing. I've got my relay wires, got a generator, um, but I can actually turn off. But it's got a power switch here that will power the outer uh, blade traps as well. So, which wall do you think I should start off with testing uh, auto turrets on? Oh. Because I have an idea for auto turrets. Speaking of that, your mother bought a couple of them from Trader Joel's here. Okay, sweet. And so what I was gonna do I is I was gonna put them. By the way, a battery bank schematic. Oh, nice. I just learned that your mother bought it from Trader Joel's as well. I go to Trader Joel's almost every day. Nice. Yep. Yeah. But what I was thinking was uh, putting the auto turrets <coughs> in the uh, the corners of the tunnels right here, where are you at? Over here. I, I turn, was turning off the blades out there. Whatever you're doing is not important. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> thinking about putting auto turrets facing this way, where I'm looking right here. Yeah, yeah. And then surrounding them with iron bars so they can shoot through them. Okay. And putting them in each corner right there and right here. To where it's just kind of like a little added defense. Yeah. Whoever made this front door, I hate and you. And if not up there, or if not down mm -hmm. there, then we could put it, like, maybe up in the corner, like, right here, or something like that, but I want to have them at the entrance of each tunnel. Okay. I need one of you to come fix this. Come fix what? The front door to the top of the tunnel is not centered, and it's bothering me. And that's, it won't be centered. <laughs> it's because the, the house is... Because the house is, like, an, is an <sighs> even number, so it's not going to line up. Yeah. That's the, the front and the back of the house is all like even numbers. Yep. So, but that's kind of where we're at on our defenses is we're going to do blade traps all around. Um, so that's kind of how that works. And then in the courtyard, Tyler, if you come over here, I'll kind of show you. Obviously, this will all be concrete. These will be concrete up here. Eventually, these little uh, tunnel systems. So I have this door here that leads into the courtyard. Eventually, we'll do stuff with these courtyards. But in here, these are the service bays I'm talking about. So if you go in and look to your left. Oh, okay. So I have it all, all the relays protected in here. Yeah. And then smart. this um, generator here, when you turn that on and you flip this switch, it'll power all of these blade traps. Okay. So That's what we came up with in order to protect the relays from yeah. like those spitting zombies and yep. whatnot. So if you come over yeah. here, same concept. Over here, there's a generator placed with a switch that will eventually power all of these blade traps. So each corner, quadrant of the base, will have its own dedicated generator to power the outer. I just don't have, like this one, well, now it's got a motor, but I just don't have motors in all of them yet. Yeah. Um, to power them, but now this one, your mother bought a, an epic motor from Trader Joel's. So now that one's got a motor. Um, as you can see as well, we need to do some more concrete work. The reason, Tyler, we haven't concreted the walls yet here for the tunnels behind you. Okay, I was just looking through my skills, sorry. These these walls is because I wasn't sure what you wanted to do because we're eventually going to build, you know, the, the watchtowers. Yeah. So I wasn't sure, and I put these here in each courtyard, by the way. That way, we could, if we're ever here, we can just climb right up and get up here. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure what you're wanting to do with like watchtowers and stuff up here. 
I haven't really decided what I'm wanting to do yet because I haven't decided if I'm actually going to do a tower or if I'm just going to make like go like four blocks down and make like iron grate or trussing or metal trussing and then make like a little like square that hangs off the edge so you can look straight down and shoot down and whatnot. Oh, okay. But well, we just haven't concreted any of this yet, like these internal stuff because we just we have the concrete it. for it. Yeah. Yeah, I've um, I've been making. So much concrete, it's not even funny. Speaking of concrete, a lot of you are probably wondering, like, how did we make this much progress with all the concrete and iron and all that stuff? I will show you guys. Tyler, you have your auger on you? No, it's in the box. Okay. So, I am going to go grab some gas. And I will show you guys exactly what we've been doing to accomplish said getting stone and iron so much okay so where is that mine shaft at babe we were working on do you remember which direction it is is it west? it is I think it's the west. mine um, yeah yeah it's west it's west okay so this is what Sorry, we're i had do. to get my bearings this you is guys, the mine I shaft just learned that... how to paint targets and stuff oh brianna in one of those boxes in the house um, I gotta remember where it's at. Let me come she back. She showed me. I just read them. All three of those books? Yeah. Okay, That's good. I, I know how to make, um, let's see here. I unlocked practice target, all the shipping crates, the paintings, beer cooler, bookcase, um, oh, chalkboard. Okay. So there you go, Tyler. That's how those people get, like, ammo on their boxes, is Brianna can paint it now. Oh, okay. Hey, Brianna, like paint all of our boxes. It. I need paint. Get paint. No. What do you need in order to make paint, sweetie? I don't know where this mine shaft is, by the way. I can't find it. Here, I'll um, over there. I don't remember where it's at. Chrysanthemum. Oh, Brian. Brianna. Goldenrod flower and bald and murky water. What? Check the seeds box. The garden box. You should be really close to the mine, sweetie. You should oh, be, like, right by it. The yeah. garden Oh, my materials. God. Yep, garden materials. Goldenrod flower. Uh, uh, cotton. So here, guys, is the mine shaft that we've been working on that has been getting us the amount of materials that we have been. This is what we've been working on. I'll show you guys. Taking down, down big, huge boulders and. Oh, look at this I right need here. Murky water. Someone they also need to go to the players. desert biome and go get some oil shale. So, Brianna, murky water. Just get yes. a bunch of empty bar uh, bottles and just go get water out of the uh, like the lakes or the ponds or whatever. There's, there's a river right over here. Yep. Oh, that's so much easier. I was going to go look in toilets. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, so look at all this. This is what we've been mining. And I'll kind of show you. It's a little loud, but this is what we've been doing the whole time. <laughs> I've been picking any and all chrysanthemum and cotton I see while I'm not showing daddy where the, uh, what you call it, that? The mine. I don't know. So just to give you guys a general idea, now you guys can see how much stone I have. That was 770 stone and 55 raw iron for that quick second I've been doing this. You spend a few, just a few minutes out there and you get, you we, know, we stacks of stone. Yeah, we come back with like 12,000 stone. Are you downstairs, Bria? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. You're the yellow arrow. Oh, I see. A hunt for water, murky water. <laughs> no, I drank it. Ew. Yummy. <laughs> Dysentery for the <laughs> win. You know that's exactly what she got too. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have vitamins in the house. Do vitamins. not give her vitamins. She doesn't deserve. I have them. antibiotics. Don't use antibiotics for dysentery. It can cure infections and dysentery. 
I think yeah, the, I think the the honey tea or the golden rod tea I have in there will fix that. Yeah. Can I fill? Use antibiotics. Though. Oh, I filled all yeah. almost 400 jars full of bubble murky water. That's all right. Use what you need, and then we can turn it. I didn't know it filled all of them. Wow. I didn't know it would fill all of them either. So Tyler, where does right, the right. military fiber go? I don't. Right now, it's you'll see it. It's in one of the boxes. I don't have a designated box for it yet. I'll just put it here. Um, I have. You're I right. have we it in the. Go, we need to go get oil shale. Yeah. Like desperately, we're burning through gas with all these generators and. But we need to go to the desert for that. That's fine. The down down in the mine should be cool. It's being out on the surface is what's gonna. You don't know us. that. But at any rate, guys, um, we're going to wrap this episode up here. I just wanted to give you guys a, just a quick glimpse at what our mining uh, day looks like. And just that little bit I showed you, I've now got 2,500 small stone, 190 raw iron. And that was just a few seconds. So imagine what a couple hours we bring back. And that's exactly how... Um, just it's how we have, like, how whenever we go out there with, like, 2,000 gas and come back with like 13,000 stone. Yeah, I mean that's how we're able to make as much concrete as we're making to start uh, fortifying our house. But um, hope you guys enjoyed another 7 Days to Die. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.